Welcome back to my channel, I'm Michelle, and today I'm going to be reviewing Stand on the Sky by Erin Bow. I really love this book, and before I get into this video, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and that like button, and I'm going to start out by reading back. So it says, uh, this is a piece from the book, so it says, Above her, high above her, was the eagle's nest. Isolu was a mountain child. She could climb, but she could also fall. What would happen if she fell and broke a leg? There would be no one to help her. Stop thinking about that, she said out loud. There was a baby eagle up there, and it would die without her. She hoisted herself onto a stone at the base of the, of the outcrop and began and began to climb. So I really love this book. The author definitely did a great job of capturing the scenery and everything, and the emotions were so real in this book. That's why I love it so much. And um, in this book, the main character, or the main protagonist, is Isolu and she uh, she's a mountain child and she has an older brother and his name is Serik. So um, in the beginning of the book, Serik and um, Isolu, it really like the author really showed how close they were and how they trusted each other with a lot of their things. So in the beginning of this book, they're um, climbing a mountain and Isolu is noticing that her brother is limping a bit. And in this story, um, I think this this is great for like. Um, um, any like females um, because any female readers because this really just shows how um, people underestimate females and how they think that females can't really do as much as males can and how um, back then you know like m uh, many females were like underestimated um, now it's a lot better but yeah I think uh, the author did a great job of capturing that and um, so in the beginning of this book like I was saying um, she she notices that her brother's lumping which is a really bad thing because if her brother is lumping then um, like their whole um, gur or gur uh, another word for gur would be like their entire house or their entire family would be kind of like let down because he is technically the future of this family he's going to like take over it and um, he's going to like lead them on and he's kind of going to be uh, become into what their uncle Dulot um, is right now so um, when she notices that uh, he's lumping she questions him, but he doesn't want her to tell anyone because, like I just explained, that's what's going to happen. And she tells him, and he tells her these exact words: "If you, if you tell our family, then I will never trust you again." And Isolu doesn't really know what to do. She could be saving her brother's life, or she could potentially be losing his trust forever. And she doesn't want that to happen. She has this great bond with him, and they're on top of the, uh, this mountain when all of a sudden a blizzard hits, and they're actually looking for um, Sarek's horse, because Sarek's horse is kind of a dummy in this book, um, so it's running away from them, and when this blizzard hits, they have no choice but to take shelter when they're uh, in this feud, and um, th they have to stay close, because they're, uh, they're not only in mountain range, but there's like this blizzard going on. So I think that shows just like how close they were. Sarek is gone for most of the book up until then because he has to go to the hospital. He's taken away and um, basically her mother and her father technically left her. So Sarek wasn't sent alone, which is what uh, Sarek was afraid of. Um, Sarek, was, and Sarek got his parents to be with him, but Isolu was left all alone with the, with the rest of her family. And she could tell something, some sort of connection was broken between them. She was sad. And um, before this, when she was with her brother, there was this, there was this eagle. And um, he wanted to become an eagle, eagle hunter. So he basically tried killing the mother of this baby eagle that you heard about on the back of the book. And um, that's a really bad thing because that, that baby eagle could basically die right now um, uh, if, uh, if it didn't have any guidance or if nobody really uh, trained it to become a real eagle to um, hunt by itself, um, to be able to fly by itself, you know what I mean? So um, Ice Lou decides to save this eagle and this eagle becomes Tokdar. Um, in other words, her other brother and I think that's so heartwarming. And there's this um, contest, okay, so there's this eagle contest that she could win to um, get her brother a um, fake leg, right? Because her brother, like I mentioned, the limping, so basically her, uh, her dad comes back from the hospital, not her mother because her mother decides to stay with Sarek. 
her dad, Ike, uh, which is what they call him, or uh, Sarek and Ice do call him, says that um, says that they have good news, that Sarek could possibly um, be able to walk on two feet again, which is great news to Isu, but they need the money to do so. And so, um, right now, Isu has two choices. She can either um, win this, uh, try and win this eagle contest, train her eagle Choknar, or her father would have no choice but to sell the entire girl, which would be a really bad thing. Sarek doesn't want it to happen, but Sarek has no say in this. He's all the way in a hospital in Ogi, and so, um, Isulu doesn't want the to put the whole family in danger, so she basically steps up and says, okay, I'm going to train this eagle, I'm going to enter this contest. So her uncle, um, Dalat, really helps her throughout this, and there's also this other character, his uh, dual uncle Dalat's wife, um, and she's known as the fox wife. Um, the other aunts don't really like her in this book, but she's very different, and she considers Isulu as her daughter, which is why I really liked her. Um, I think like there was also a really good connection between them, and again, the author did such a good job at like proving the emotions, and I think it's written in such a way that it's almost like you're standing right there and just watching it as if it's like a movie or if it's like, or as if you're just like standing there in real life. And I really love this book, and I really think you guys should get it. Um, so what do you guys think? Do you think that Isla will win this contest and be able to get her brother a leg? Um, and if you guys want to get this book, I'll leave all the links in the description box below, Amazon, uh, Barnes & Noble, Google Books, and um, so yeah. And as you guys know, I have a new se uh, I have a segment to my book reviews where I show you guys what the next book I'm going to be reviewing looks like. Which in this case, it looks like this. It is called Twin Tusion. It's the first book um, to the series, and it is the Double Vision one. And this is by Tien Tamara Maori. They're also actors, and they're really well known for being actors. So if you guys have checked out any of their series, then comment down below and make sure you let me know. Um, so yeah, that's going to be all for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and that like button. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!